Here's Ralphus, our kind sponsor. He has some questions. You mentioned the abuse you took while shooting the scene up there on the horse, really getting physically bruised underneath all the marks. Of all the scenes you had to shoot for the film, which one was the most difficult for you to endure? I ask this because obviously I have an interest in the subject since I commissioned the roasting scene. What is it really like to be roasted on a spit? Uh, well, looks like you already answered the first question yourself, Ralphus. Um, obviously the roasting scene was... Uh, it was hard. All of the scenes of torture were really, really difficult to shoot uh, for various reasons that I just mentioned, physically and emotionally. Um, but the roasting scene, I, and I mentioned this before, I absolute. I felt terrified. Here I am stuttering because I don't really have words <laughs> to describe. I, it was all I could do to convince myself that I really wasn't going to die. <laughs> and as I mentioned before, I didn't want anybody to untie me because I probably would have just run. I, I pro you know, there's a fight or flight response. And a lot of the time, you know, I have a fight response. You know, I'm, I'm, if somebody, you know, is coming at me with something, I'm more pipe back confrontational. In this case, I believe that if I had been untied, you know, halfway through the scene to take a break or something like that, I, I might have just run away <laughs> into the street, naked as I was, <laughs> calling for help. I, because there was something in, I don't know, something about it, the entire experience activated a part of my, in, uh, activated an instinct that told me to get out of there now. So this is not helpful. It, it was helpful when I was acting, but I had to control it a little bit because I had to, con you know, convey more emotions than just like paralysis and fear uh, because that, that isn't very camera friendly necessarily. You know, it's like bunny in the headlights. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it, it was d so difficult. Okay. I n okay, this is from Ralphus as well. I know you were pretty scared initially. Is that why it took two days to film it? Yeah, that's a lot of the reason. Um, it The first day was terrible, and obviously I... <laughs> I, I felt like I had prepared myself, and then I got up there, and I didn't really feel prepared at all. And so I, I took as much as I could, and then there was a certain point because of the whole thing where I just felt, um, I don't know if it was the rotation, you know, what does a chicken feel like when it's on a rotisserie? I don't know. It's dead, so it doesn't feel anything. A live person feels something <laughs> up there that is unpleasant and frightening so I, I my reaction was to feel at, at a certain point like I was going to faint and that would be very bad um and it might scare people on the set and obviously would not be good for me so I I asked to be taken down and I, I couldn't get back up there after that uh the second day I prepared myself a little bit more but still um I, I'm pretty certain that we could have shot a third day, but I there was no way that I could convince myself to get back up on there. It, even now, I, it's like it's funny because the the bath scene, you know, the even with all of the difficulties with that, the memory has faded enough where I feel like I could shoot another one with the roasting. It's it forever scarred me, and you know, I don't think that's. It's not a bad thing. I, I think that you don't regret the things you do. You re regret the things you don't do in life. Uh, okay, uh, another question from Ralphus. Why did the rape scene have no nudity? Um, you know, we, we talked about it a lot. Uh, and in the logic of the movie, basically what we did was we tried, really tried to get into the head of, uh, of the torture. 
and in inside of his head, I mean, he had basically he. He'd seen us naked the entire time. In the movie, he looks like Eric Kalancha does a really good job conveying someone who's kind of, you know, just like rough and, and, or, you know, uneducated and sick and kind of, you know, he enjoys his job and he does a really good job with that, with conveying that with his body language, his expressions, everything. And I feel like that's really important in the role of a torturer. Um, it shouldn't just be somebody going through the motions. Um, some, a person can't do that. I don't think they can do that, you know, it's it's not like he could take a pill and turn off his humanity. He would have, uh, you know, that, that character would have emotions either way. He would either be enjoying his job or he would be horrified by what he's doing. And then why would he be doing it if he doesn't enjoy it? <laughs> you know, there are some things that you just can't pay people to do. So you find, I mean, there are many stories in real life of, you know, finding people who will do that, who have the psychology to do that. Um, so anyway, in, in light of his psychology and that character's psychology, uh, it, he had seen uh, Mariana naked for days. He had tortured her. He'd done all kinds of horrible things at the behest of the Church of the Inquisition. And what, what was the one thing that he had been denied? Um, release, you know, sexual release. And so... You know, he had not been able to uh, to have sex with this this woman who he's seeing naked all the time. And, and if he's enjoying the torture, then obviously he's not just enjoying it in a, in a cerebral way. Um, it's, it's more in a, a sexualized way. And so w if he suddenly has the chance to take advantage of the situation and get the one thing that he wanted to do would he really would he you know strip her and take his time and put on some music read her some poetry no i mean he's basically just going to go in there and he's like okay i have a minute flip the thing up and go at it that's why the scene did not have nudity